Greetings, fellow captains. In a sea of very different news, I, Dasha Barova, am here to tell you only the best of it. Today, in the update 0.9.4 review, the long-awaited testing of a new unit type, submarines, Soviet heavy cruisers, enhanced consumables for free, a new season of ranked battles, and many other pleasant features. Soviet heavy cruisers have arrived in early access. Please welcome the magnificent Thailand and Riga. Some things to know about the newcomers. Their armor-piercing shells are efficient, even against battleships. They enjoy excellent ballistics, have decent armor, suffer from relatively long reload times, and have special accuracy settings that make the dispersion of shells fired over long distances by the new cruisers greater than that of their counterparts. Due to these accuracy settings and their surveillance radar with a 12-kilometer action radius, the newcomers perform best at medium ranges. To see these beauties in your port, Exchange Soviet tokens for a set of sequentially opened bundles. The tokens can be found in themed containers obtained from daily shipments and are also given as rewards for completing directives. The Soviet heavy cruisers will become available to research in Update 0.9.6. And now, perhaps the most fascinating news of Update 0.9.4. I'm happy to announce that the testing of submarines will move to the main World of Warships server in two weeks. We're very grateful to all the players who took part in the previous testing rounds. Submarines will become available in a separate battle type, and it's your participation and feedback that will have a defining impact on this unit type in our game. Want to know how to participate in the testing? Look for the details on our website and in future videos. By the way, it's a great moment to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss anything interesting. Another piece of good news, you're now going to save up to 112,500 credits per battle. In Update 0.9.4, standard consumables leave the game and their enhanced versions become free. The enhanced consumables that you have on your ships and in the inventory, as well as more consumables containers, will automatically be exchanged for credits. Also relating to consumables, in response to your numerous requests, we've made it possible to view the available upgrades and consumables of ships that you haven't purchased yet. You can now also directly research and purchase a ship from within the tech tree. Click a ship icon once to open its specifications with the Research Purchase buttons. Click it twice to see its modules. Self-isolation offers an excellent opportunity to demonstrate your prowess in ranked battles. They start in a week, 7 versus 7, playing Tier 7 ships. You can earn more than 4,500 steel. As always, details will be published in a separate article closer to the season's start. Armory news. Resolute and rapid containers are now available for 6,000 coal. The reward for gathering the collection is a unique historical Italian commander, Luigi Sansonetti. Those who appreciate beauty will be happy to hear about new Victory Day permanent camouflages for Minsk, Oktyoberskaya Revoluzia, Duke of York, and others. Any European tokens that you haven't spent will be exchanged for credits at the rate of 1 to 7,500. We are continuing to improve the game maps. In this update, changes have been made to loop. Approaching key areas and maneuvering within them will now be easier. Apart from that, We've also added a new lighting model and improved HDR technology for such maps as Loop, Northern Lights, Shatter, Sleeping Giant, Grease, and Crash Zone Alpha. Finally, shell ricochets will now be accompanied by a spectacular animation. While the virtual seas of our game can't replace reality, at least they can help you while away some time with pleasure. Take care of yourself and your friends and family, Captains. That's all for today. Yours truly, Dasha Pedova.